This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, February 12th, through this coming Sunday, February 18th, 2018. This is such a busy week energetically. <laughs> we have the new moon in Aquarius on Thursday, February 15th. This is going to happen at 4.05 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. And this uh, new moon is also a partial solar eclipse. Valentine's is Wednesday, and the Chinese New Year is Friday. <laughs> this is the year of the Earth Dog, and you can Google the Chinese New Year to see what animal you are and how this affects you. I want to talk about the fact that we're back in eclipse season, and it's time to revisit and refresh what changes you wanted in your life last August, August 2017. It's time to evaluate where you are and then start fresh. What needs to end now? What do you desire to change in your life now? What are your priorities? This Aquarius new moon is energy that's going to pull you out of the past and it wants to catapult you to your future. But you've got to get up to speed. Any outdated, old, past energy, ideals, thought patterns, habits, or paradigms must be released. This phase is not about bringing historical energy with you. You are ready to forge your own path, your authentic personal path that honors you and honors what you desire to happen in your life. This week's energy says it's time to open the curtains on your shadows and drop all the ways you dance around with self-defeating thought patterns. Allow this new moon and solar eclipse to really reset your destiny. This week's solar eclipse is the beginning of endings, and you're going to progress through your necessary endings as the next six months unfold, just like last August six months ago. And this time you are aware. <laughs> you're watching this video, you're getting all the news. This time you're aware, this time you are mindfully prepared, and this time, you can make progress to the, f the future that you desire. Oh, and then with, when, with, the, with, the, with Valentine's Day, which is Wednesday, give yourself a little extra love and a little extra attention. And I'm sharing the love this week with discounted readings. When you purchase your reading on my website, which is spiritpathways.net, and there's also a link and the website down in the comments. Enter coupon code LOVE for a 15% discount. This runs until midnight Sunday, February 18th, and I have openings every day for your reading, so you don't have to wait for your appointment. You can have it this week. You know you want a reading, so do it this week while they're on sale. <laughs> All good energy for you. Also for this new moon and solar eclipse energy. I love this week. All right, let's see what we've got. Nice, nice. I'm going to lay these out. And as always, go over each one to give you a complete reading for the energy of this week and how you can use it to your best advantage. All right, here we go. Starting with the Two of Water. <laughs> Perfect card for Valentine's Day energy. This is just, this is love and enjoying relationships and it's also forgiveness, so that's healing, loving healing. This is resolutions to things that you've been trying to figure out on an emotional level. It's things coming together emotionally. It's union. It's the two, 
The two is union, emotional union for the things that you want to experience emotionally. So if that's romantic love, then absolutely this week. If it's someone to help you with your business coming in, that is also, you, you know, the union. Absolutely. Someone to help you with your health or with anything that you want to progress forward. That's the energy of this card. So I love it. And forgiveness. Forgiveness is an important energy and you need to forgive yourself first. The Six of Air, this is one of the Embarking on Your Journey cards. This says you're leaving behind anything that's stressful and unpleasant and isn't working for you. And all that you're leaving back here. And here you are in your boat. And all this water is the emotions falling away. And where you're going is calmer. Oh, and it's easier. And it's more in alignment with what you want to experience. So this is very much the new moon in Aquarius, the solar eclipse energy that's happening Thursday. What are you ready to get in that boat and sail away from? <laughs> What's no longer working for you? It's the end of a difficult situation and things are getting better. Things will, are improving. Where you are going, this journey that you're going in this boat is taking you someplace so much better. Someplace so much more in alignment with all your dreams and desires. And then the four of water. Um, <laughs> I feel like we keep getting a lot of these cards and I love it. There's an energy that's been flowing since January 1st where we've been seeing a lot of cards and again, they're reminding you, what are you focusing on? <laughs> are you focusing on the empty cups? Because that's lack and nothing happens there. You've got to pivot. You've got to focus on this cup right here. It's got a dolphin on it. It's beautiful and ornate and jeweled and golden gilded. And This is the opportunities. They're right in front of you. You just need to shift a little bit. So please don't keep focusing on thought patterns or activities or people or events, situations, paradigms, all those things that are not giving you the results that you desire. You are ready for positive results. You are ready to see the difference in your life. And as long as you're telling this story and you're in the energy of this empty monotone cup, nothing's happening. So please, shift. Get in touch with all the goodness in your life. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Don't be bored. Don't be lackadaisical. You are being offered opportunities all the time. And they're saying pay attention. You don't want to miss these. They'll come around again if you miss them, but <laughs> let's do it now. Let's not waste any more time. Perfect card. Ah, oh, the new moon, the solar eclipse. Release so you can have your new birth beginning. Release so you can have your rebirth. Ah, oh, Archangel Azrael to help you with this. Again, the end of a phase or a situation. That's what these are about. The end of a difficult situation. Pay attention to what's being offered to you. You don't have to stay stuck in that energy. Things are opening up. Things are happening. Oh, I love it. Spiritual transformation. And it's time to move on. This is absolutely rebirth. In the regular tarot, it's death card. But death means rebirth. you got to have your endings to get to your beginnings. So please release. One and three. That's a four. So that's doing the work of releasing everything that is not in alignment with your greatest happiness. Everything that's not part of the path that you want to take forward. Just start identifying those things. Start imagining life without them. <laughs> that, you know, solar eclipse energy of allowing the beginning of the endings. Allowing that so you get the rebirth, so you get your alignment to what it is that you really want to be 
experiencing. And then the seven of fire says you're holding your ground. Pick your priorities. Pay attention to your battles. Pick your battles. Don't take on things that you don't need to be taking on that are not your... It's not your job to finish that. It's someone else's. And stand up to what, for what's important to you. Follow your heart. Seven is introspection. So it's going within to decide what it is you want to take action on. And then you'll be more effective. This is the card of not just being frivolous and not just, you know, constantly doing the same thing and expecting a different result. This is the card of setting your priorities and deciding how you want it to flow. So when you choose the battle, you win. You win every time. The Queen of Fire, again, she's my lovely creative energy, and you are protected energy. Tap in the way to the ways that you are confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful, because that's going to get you good results. And also... Get other people to assist you that are confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. Queens are solutions. So this is where your solutions lie. And this Queen of Fire, she's all about <laughs> freedom and independence. Yes, and absolutely not underestimating yourself. Tap into that confidence. Realize that that's your abundant way forward. And assert your independence and your creativity. Spread your wings. Allow that freedom to help you soar. Oh, and enjoy all the things that you want to enjoy. So I love that energy. Five of Earth. Little money card here. It says you worry a little bit about money. And sometimes you feel alone. You feel a little isolated. And they're promising you that you're not alone, you're not isolated, and that money's going to be okay. Allow, again, other people to help you. Those confident, warm, generous, kind people that the uh, Queen of Fire is reminding you about. And if you are worried about your job in any way, just go into your heart and ask yourself what it is that you really, really want to do. Is this the job that thrills you? And is this your path forward? And if it is, then use this new moon and this solar eclipse energy to come into alignment for your greatest potential in your career. Everything's going to be okay. And we have balance again. I feel like we probably had this last week. Archangel Zadkiel. One and four. This is change. Five is change. So where do you need balance in your life? Where do you need a little bit of moderation? Don't become consumed in focusing too much on one thing. Cooperation again. People to help you. Just like this Queen of Fire card. You're not alone. Reminding you with the Five of Earth. You're not alone. You have people to help you. And it's magical. <laughs> this is the card of alchemy. See the little cups and the fluid between the cups? That's the alchemy. That's the magic. Allow the miracles and the magic to flow for you. This is also going to give you balance. And the halo and the rising sun, you are protected. You're on your path. You are divinely connected. Your intuition is reliable. One foot on land, one foot in the water. That's emotional balance. It's also stability. And again, we have these amazing wings for you to spread and fly. Ah, oh, perfect timing is coming for you. Everything with perfect timing. So use the energy of this week to get things in order so when the perfect timing comes and you recognize your opportunities, you're ready to embrace them immediately. And the Emperor, another four of doing the work, Archangel Michael to help you this time. The Emperor tells you to act upon your convictions. This thing that you've been defending and that's so important to you, 
it's time to take action on some of this. This is, again, a card of protection to me. On the regular tarot, he's surrounded by these very strong ram's heads, which stand for balance and protection. And you are organized and you're logical. Go ahead and use some structure and maybe a little discipline. <laughs> you are a leader, so allow this to carry you forward. I love that we're ending on this card this week. You're going to use the energy this week. You're going to embrace this new moon, Aquarius beginnings, that want to catapult you into your future. And you're going to embrace the solar eclipse changes that are going to make your life better and are going to align you to that destiny that you deserve. And all those outcomes that you can't wait to experience. Archangel Michael to help you with this beautiful energy and I would love to help you specifically for yourself with a personal reading I tune into your council of guides and spirit beautiful entities around you that are with you all the time and your angels and loved ones and we look at your blueprint and I can explain relationships and help you figure out your life purpose and help you get into alignment to opening and allowing all this goodness that's there for you. Use the coupon code LOVE on my website for your discount, spiritpathways.net. Have a great week, and I look forward to giving you a reading. Bye-bye.